In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this border reveal effect. Okay. To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline, as well as some texts I'd like to animate my border around. Let's begin by clicking and holding down on the pen tool and then select the rectangle tool. Use a tool in the preview to drag a rectangle around your text. Then in effect controls, go to the shape you just created and uncheck the fill and give it a stroke instead. And I'll just use a move tool to center mine around my text. All right, to animate a rectangle, we'll need to go over to the effects panel and tight crop into the search box. Drag the crop effect onto your graphics clip on the timeline for your rectangle. Now, while holding down the Alt key on your keyboard, drag your graphics clip up to create a copy of it. Do these two more times so that you have four copies of your graphics clip that has your rectangle and crop effects. For now, let's drag to select the bottom three graphics clips and move them to the side so we can focus on the top. Then select your top graphics clip and then effect controls. Make sure the playhead is positioned at the beginning of the clip under the crop effect. Drag the bottom's value to the right so that only the top line of the rectangle is showing. Then click the stopwatch next to right to create a starting key frame and drag the right's value to the right until the line just disappears off the. Then move the playhead to where you want your top line to be finished drawing by and drag the right's value to the left until your line reappears. Okay, now when I play this back, my top line animates. If you want to change the speed of your line, just drag the second keyframe closer or further to the first one. Once you're happy with your line, use these arrows to position the playhead so that it's on your second keyframe. Then drag your second clip to that position, since we want to start drawing the second line right when the first one finishes. Okay, with your second clip selected on the timeline, you'll need to drag its crop's left value to the right until you see just this one vertical line on the. Now for the animation, make sure the playhead is still at the beginning of your second clip and click the stopwatch next to bottom to create a key frame. Drag the bottom's value to the right until you can only see the top line. Then move the playhead to where you want your animation to finish. By now, drag the bottom's value to the left, so that is just before where you can see the bottom line to create a second keyframe. And there I have two animating lines. Okay, like before, make sure your playhead is positioned on the second keyframe, and then move your third clip from the bottom to that position. For this clip, click the stopwatch next to the left's crop value to create its first keyframe and drag the left value to the right until you can't see the bottom line anymore. Then move the playhead to where you want the animation done by and drag the left's value to the left to reveal the bottom line up to where the final vertical line. Okay, and there are third line animates. So once more, put the playhead at this clip's second keyframe and move the final clip to that position. For this one, click the stopwatch next to top to create its first key frame and then drag the top's value to the right until the vertical line is gone. Finally, move the playhead to where you want the line to be finished drawing by and drag the top's value to the left to reveal the line. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a nice looking border reveal effect. Keep in mind that you'll need to stretch all these clips out for however long you want the border to show. All right, and that's it for this tutorial. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.